So just making sure that you guys are aware, this upcoming week, Apple is set to release new products. So for those that are not aware, so Apple plans to announce new products with press release on its website this upcoming week. And the reason that that's important is if you haven't been paying attention to Apple's stock performance, it hasn't been the best. It's actually quite the opposite of whatever the NASDAQ market has been doing, which is very, very surprising. Normally, Apple moves very, very well with the NASDAQ market as the NASDAQ is made up of tech companies. Apple, previously as the most valuable company that's publicly traded, has recently lost its throne. Check this out. 2.7 is its trillion dollar market cap, right? At T, trillion, not billion, trillion but it previously was trading at a $3 trillion market cap. Now, we do have Microsoft that is nearly at all-time highs, trading at, the, th trading at a $3.08 trillion market cap. And then we also have the notorious NVIDIA that has gapped up exponentially in just the past year, and it's currently trading at a $2.13 trillion market cap. Think about that. NVIDIA, $2.13 and then we have Apple trading at that 2.7, so um, 2.7 flat. The reason that I wanted to bring up Apple is because Apple's current performance has been a little bit on the bearish side. Uh, it's been a nice little retracement from its highs of nearly $200 a share and currently trading at 175. It's been about a 12% drop. And with the announcement of these new products, depending on what the market makes of it, will either cause a potential recovery or create more selling pressure if these products are a bust. So just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware, as well as uh, we have a pretty important week ahead of us when it comes down to the Federal Reserve. So tomorrow we have the Vice Chair, Michael Barr, speaking at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And then on Wednesday and on Thursday, we have Jerome Powell that's going to be speaking 30 minutes after the market opens. This is going to be the important one because depending on his sentiment, if he's hawkish or dovish, will determine if the market sells off or if the market rallies, especially if he begins to share anything for the up and coming uh, FOMC meeting. Also, <clears throat> For those that are not aware, uh, we do have an up and coming CPI data report that's going to be released on March 12th that I do plan to live stream for free on this YouTube channel and all you literally need to do is subscribe. For those that are unaware, the CP, uh, the CPI, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, the CPI data report is the inflation report that is released on a monthly basis. It pretty much tells us if inflation is going up or down. Our previous CPI data report that was released in the month of February was not good. It actually came out worse than what is expected. You probably wouldn't believe that because of how the market's been performing, but it's going to be hard to really ignore two lower than expected CPI data reports after one another, especially because the FOMC is supposed to meet up and actually decide, are we going to be cutting interest rates in the month of March or are we going to continue to wait? And this will pretty much determine, but don't worry, I'm going to make sure that I keep it super simple. I'm going to live stream these CPI data reports and all I literally ask you to do is subscribe. We also have NIO and Target that are all going to be releasing earnings before the market opens tomorrow on Tuesday, March 4th, March 5th, my apologies. Other than that, it's a pretty uh, straightforward day. We did see the NASDAQ market retrace just a little bit, uh, but we're still relatively very, very close to previous all-time highs. And we also have Bitcoin pretty much teeter-tottering at that threshold of the $69,000 price per Bitcoin. And we'll see tomorrow if we could break that 69000 and go into the 70s or if we begin to enter a nice little sell-off uh, potentially retracing back to previous lows at lows of 60 and or mid 55,000. So I'll keep you guys up to date with all of that. All you guys literally need to do is subscribe to the channel and I'll take care of the rest. If you have any questions about anything that we talked about in this video or anything else, feel free to comment down below and I'll make sure that I respond to the best of my ability. If you want to tune on into my live trading session as soon as tomorrow, I'd love to invite you. It's the second link in the description down below. And again, you can sign up today and watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow. We'll see you. Uh, like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.